Welcome to another Snuff Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013 on Lomerheim. Alright, so our combine is just finishing up right there in this field. He's working his way there, so we are going to finish this field. Actually, I'll be the last path, looks like. Awesome. And, lucky for us, we do have a full tipper here. And as we found out last episode, there is a great demand for barley coming up. I don't know if that was planned by the map creator, uh, by giving you all barley, basically. Because uh, I, oops, this is what I want to go to right here. Oh no, there we go. I thought, was just, I thought I saw barley, 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 but it must have been a different game I was playing, different map. All right, so we're gonna go up here and sell our barley at the mill. It's only here for 24 hours. It's gonna give us $394 a ton, which is nice. Uh, so this is the mill right here, so let's just drive up in here and then we will, whoa, I gotta get used to that, jeez. Hitting the brakes doesn't mean you stop, it just means you coast forward a little bit and then stop. Alright, so here is, there we go, this is the mill. Oh, that's cool. A little bounce there. All right, so let's tip it out. So we got 21,405. All right, let's see what we get. I don't know if you realize that or not, but when I did that little tip there, it actually increased the RPMs of the tractor. So it was pretty cool, actually, because it was pretty interesting to see how that actually does that. Uh, it doesn't work for all mods. Uh, I know some... Oh, can I actually go up this way? Uh, let me just walk over there first. Mm, kind of. Let's give it a try. Uh, some mods will do it, and some mods won't do it. So, But it is pretty cool when it does happen. Uh, because when you were to tip something like that, it actually would definitely... Um, it would definitely uh, increase the RPMs when you tip something like that. Alright. Sorry. I had to think there for a second. Let's go. Get around here, hit the door up here. Nice. All right, cool. Let's go unload load our combine once again because he's probably not quite full, but full enough. And we do have enough money now. We have $33,000, which is excellent, uh, which is enough money. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. So one thing you gotta be careful, going downhill in the tractor with this mod install, or this type of tractor, Whoa. You really got to be careful. That's a terrible blind spot. Every time I turn, I never see out that side. Whoa, whoa! See how fast that guy was going? He was swerving there. Jeez. All right, let's go unload our combine here. Because he is done. But I think we have actually all our fields are in barley. So we're going to have quite a bit of barley. Let's just... Line it up here. Perfect. Now, because it is a hard worker, he will just. Yeah, he just he does un he does just turn the engine off after, which was polite. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna put this on our field. All right, let's just turn this IH off here. It's something I realized when I started up this map, <laughs> when I started up uh, recording this episode, I realized that all my equipment basically is not European equipment at all. Uh, it was not intentional, just the way it worked out. Uh, so like, the, for example, this is a New Holland, uh, the other tractor is a international, uh, the other one we have, both actually we have internationals, I think. And we do own eight as well, excellent. So we're gonna start on this field over here just across the road. I don't know where the exit is, so... Is that it over there? I guess it is. Alright, let's 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 be respectable here and use the appropriate exit. Don't want to annoy the people of Lomerheim. We are already driving the farm equipment on the map. Or on the map. On the road. There we go. Let's get it up. Oh, go, go, go. Try not to block the road. Sheesh. Alright, so... Again... Let's, yeah, we're going to have to do a 
I'm gonna have to do a couple headlands here just to make sure our combine can actually get around here. Wow, look how close that is to that. Jeez. It's as close as I can get without taking it out. And this would happen in real life. You would have trees all over the uh, the field there. Although you, what you probably do is you probably take a chainsaw to some of those limbs and uh, trim them because you would be driving right through a whole bunch of leaves. Well, a whole bunch of, in this case, looks like pine trees with your combine, which probably isn't great for your combine. All right, so I'm going to have to turn around and back up this way. There we go. And then we'll do another pass down here because the sides look like they're going to be okay. Which is good. It was just this one area down here. I'm going to have to go check up the top. Actually, we're going to have to go around. I just wanted to make sure our combine can move around or I, I could at least maneuver it myself if I needed to. I'm pretty sure the trees around this particular field are... Uh, you can drive through them, but... We are trying to stay more realistic on this particular map. That's why we have all more realistic vehicles and whatnot. Alright, that... Uh, let's do one more, actually. Because I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to turn around without hitting something. So let's do this. Do one more here, and then what we'll do is we'll go up the side. Uh, we'll go up the uh, west side there. And head north on the west side of the field. Just to ensure that... We do give ourselves enough space so we can maneuver. This is fantastic. We started off with this much barley. That would that's just I can't believe that actually happened. I think that was that must have been planned by the creator. I don't think the uh, great demands are randomized. Um, let me know if they are actually. Or if they are randomized on every person who starts the map up, or if it's just one of those things where everyone starts with the same great demand basically. I'm not sure. Um, in case you're wondering, we are playing this particular map on hard once again. Uh, and keep in mind, the more realistic mod has to be installed for me to, to, for me to use more realistic vehicles. Uh, so that does mean that the prices are adjusted because of the more realistic mod. So keep that in mind. Um, so that's probably why we got so much money for that load of fire that we sold. Um, if you recall from, I believe it's the Serbian farm that we played on. Uh, we had the same thing there when we sold corn, I believe. Uh, we got a, quite a large amount of corn, and it was due to the Mortisic mod once again, so keep that in mind. Alright, so we're doing our headland at the top here. Want to make sure our friends over there at the mill are happy. They're getting lots of barley. I wonder what they're making with the barley. I don't, I, I don't think there's anything crazy on this map that you can do. I know on some maps you can actually... I looked at one map once upon a time where you can actually make beer on the map, which is pretty crazy, actually. Alright, I'm going to need to get out of this screen for a second. Oof, that was close. I, don't, I couldn't even see that. Alright, let's do another headland here. Get around this little area. Oh, it helps if you lower the combine head in. Sheesh. There we go, that's better. Alright, so let's do another headland. We should be able to... Um, we might be able to get to the bottom of this field. We'll see. If we don't, if we if we can't, that's fine. But this will give us a bit of an opportunity to unload right up here. So that's what I'll do. Is I'll grab the IH on the other side of the road there. And we'll unload him. And then... Uh, we'll sell it. So, well, we don't need to sell it yet. Uh, we want to stop slow down time. I don't know why I was on plus five times, but this thing's happening. Yeah, let's go ahead. So let's raise the head here, pipe out, turn off the combine for a second, and let's run over there and grab the IH. Gotta watch out for the cars. These people drive super quick here. It's not the Autobahn or anything, but they do drive quick, it seems like. Like, did you see the last guy there who swerved before he almost hit my combine? Jeez. Reckless, I tell you. Alright. All the green here. It's awesome. This is, uh, if anybody's been playing on uh, Westbridge Hills from the, um, from the Titanium pack, this is like a, a stark contrast to that. It's crazy. Alright. 
let's get in here. Across the road. Just gonna straddle this windrow here so we don't tear it up too much. I'm sure if we went, ah, we probably go. It doesn't really matter in this game too much, but just to, just for argument's sake, try and be good about it. No cars, no cars, good. Let's take a turn here, excellent. And there's a little stone path up here that we go up. There we go, excellent. And let's make sure we're underneath the pipe. Don't want to run into the combine either. There we go, perfect. And we'll just stop him there. If I had an emergency brake, I would definitely put it on right there, that's for sure. Nice. All right, let's do. Ooh, still unloaded. Thought he was done. Let's start the combine up. We'll do one more pass, I think. That's all we'll have time for. Uh, so let's start from the other side. And let's bring the pipe in. So if I were to have a more realistic combine, going up this hill would be a lot more difficult. <laughs> I imagine, because combines don't move quickly to begin with, and with a more realistic mod install, um, or a more realistic vehicle would make it even worse. So, something I need to consider down the line. Because basically, the only more realistic combines I have are all these standard vanilla combines, and I don't. They're not very cool. They're not as cool as this combine, at least, that's for sure. So, let's finish this up here. Another field. I really like the way they're shaped. Uh, there's a couple places where it, it's a little dicey when you move your vehicle, which is really cool, actually. Uh, what I mean by dicey is like it's kind of bump, it's like really bumpy. Like if you remember on the Serbian farm, we had the same thing, uh, where it, there were some really bumpy, bumpy spots and there were some ruts. Uh, and I really thought that was pretty cool. So this is another map that has that same uh, functionality, or not. same feature, I guess. It's not really functionality. Excellent. So one of the things I realized is that because I'll be playing two different seasons at the same time, one short, one long, uh, one more realistic, one not, basically, uh, would the mod install? I'll have to keep taking that mod out and putting it back in all the time because it does change the... Oops. Skip a little bit there. There we go. It does change how much you get for um, in terms of money and whatnot. All right. Is he going to have enough space now? Ooh, probably not. Let's do one more pass at the end here. So we'll just do a little Yui up here. Actually, we'll do it this way. We won't do a U-turn, we'll do this. This is where those mirrors would probably come into play, if they actually worked. But of course they don't. There we go. Let's lower it here, and then we'll do this last little headland here, and then we'll finish this up. Well, we'll finish up next episode, probably, because our episode is coming quickly to an end. I can't believe how fast fast 50 minutes goes by. Like I was trying, originally I said, just do, I'm just going to do a 10 minute episode. And you guys are like, no, 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 do 20 minute episodes. And um, I'm trying to keep it to 15. So a little bit of a compromise there. Uh, 15 was the compromise I kind of came up with, but uh, it, it blows by super, super quick. Uh, it's unbelievable. All right. So let's stop the combine there. So we'll stop the episode there for now, folks. My name's Ian Robson. This has been Farming Simulator 2013, and we're playing on Lomerheim. Catch you guys later.